Welcome back to STEM Spins. This is the third video in our series on how to use Hess toy trucks as a learning tool to teach cool STEM concepts, especially apt at distance learning time. And so today we're going to be using 2017 STEM curriculum guide that's called Simple and Compound Machines. Now, the 2017 toy truck is actually a dump truck and a loader. Now, it was designed with an actual working dump truck feature. Can you demonstrate for us? Okay, so inside, it actually lifts up using a mechanism, which we're going to talk about in a minute. And it had to be designed in a way that could lift the weight of this fairly substantial loader. So today, we're going to do an experiment to show exactly how much weight this can actually lift when it dumps out. And we're going to experiment with some forces associated with that to show how hydraulic lifts work and how they apply to dump trucks. So what we have with us to first start off with as our experiment is some water. So Kaysen, grab me this small water. Let's weigh it and see how much it actually weighs. About nine ounces? Yeah. We have nine ounces. Can you put that into the dump truck and see if it will lift it? You have it towards the back, okay? Yeah. Does it lift it? Yep. Easily. It's actually harder when you put it towards the front of the truck where the lifting mechanism is. So when you lift it, it still works with enough force to knock it out. We have a second bottle of water. Let's put it on there. Jason, okay, so how much does it weigh? It weighs one pound, two ounces. That is equal to 18 ounces because there is 16 ounces in a pound. And if you add two more ounces, it is 18 ounces. Great. Okay, why don't we put that into the back of the truck and see if that will lift. Okay, so that's got enough force if the water is towards the back. What about when it's towards the front? Uh-oh. Not enough power. Right? So... Again, it's all about making sure whether it's a real dump truck or a toy dump truck that is designed so that it can properly lift the load that it needs to lift. What I want to do now is explain exactly what's going on inside the truck. It's kind of hard to see, but there's, a, there's actually a piston mechanism in here mm -hmm. that in this case has got some gears, but a real dump truck works a little bit differently, and we want to explain how that works. To do our demonstration today, I wanted to create something that would explain how the lift of a dump truck works. And you can do that by finding an empty syringe. If your uh, children take any medicine orally that might come with a syringe, you can use that. Uh, you may have more than one around. And a little empty hollow tube that can connect two of those. That's all we're using here. And so can you grab one end and you grab the other end? What happens, let's, let's make sure we can see what happens. When you push your end in, what happens to this end? Whoop, it pops out, right? So essentially, when the dump truck has to lift up, something inside is actually pressing to create pressure that pushes up a piston. Under here, there's actually two pistons that will push up and create enough force for the lift to occur. So we're going to do a little experiment now to show how the force works inside a piston. Now, what we've got here is we're, gonna, we're just going to roll the dump truck using the force created by the piston. So when you press, let's see how far it rolls. Go ahead and press. Okay. It rolled from its starting point, we have a tape measure, exactly two inches. Okay. Now, what, what did we say was inside that? Air. Air. Okay. Now, when you press with air, what's happening to the air inside? It's getting... Heat it up and it loses energy. Yeah, the compression actually squeezes air into a tighter spot. And in that process, air heats up and some energy is lost. So it doesn't fully transfer to pushing up the other piston. So now what we've done is we've replaced the empty syringe with water. Let's see if it does anything different when you press against the back. So we've lined up our truck. You're going to press with a force on one side. It's going to push the piston on the other side. Go ahead. Whoa. All right. That time it rolled uh, five inches. That's right. So more than two times farther. 
To demonstrate exactly what's going on a little bit more up close, we're going to show you what happens to the pistons. The one on the right has air, the one on our left, which is now your right, has the water in it. Casey's going to press them at the exact same time, and let's watch what happens. The one with air started, right? But then it lost a lot of energy while the one with water shot up faster and taller. Right? You see that? Yeah. Faster and taller. Now, let's explain what's happening with the one with air. When you're pressing the air, at first it gets compressed. It builds up pressure and actually some heat gets released because the air gets compressed. And so energy is lost in the process. So it doesn't go up quite as hard. In the case of the water, when you're pressing, the water immediately goes into the other one and presses with huge force. There's no loss because there's no real air. The actual real dump trucks have a different kind of fluid that can withstand a ton of pressure and heat so that it exerts all of its pressure in the lifting force. Where you have air or you have things like water that can heat quickly, then you would actually lose energy through that and can lift less through. And do you know what kind of lift this is called? No. Hydraulic. Hydraulic. What does hydraulic sound like? Water, like hydro. Hydro, which in this case is any form of liquid, right? Creates a hydraulic piston, which allows us to put that piston in a dump truck, and then we have a hydro hydraulic driven lift. Cool? So we hope you guys enjoyed that, and we'll be back with another sprint in a few days.